Oh, for his goodness and mercy, we're living in the last days. Amen. And in a time where there's much change going on, men's have made up in their mind, we're going to write our own Bible, we're going to do what we want to, we're going to act like we want to, but now there's a mandate from heaven. It's the same mandate that was given when the church was started. It's called holiness. And that's what I'm going to talk about tonight. I'm going to talk about now. Now, I'm the first, so I got to soften y'all up a little bit. You'll be saying, man, hallelujah. And I thank God for his mercy and his goodness. You know, no matter what men say, the gospel don't change. You believe me, say amen. And we're living in a time now. Men are trying to supplant and supplement the gospel, amen. When you don't preach the gospel, then you need programs, amen, to decode the people, amen. But I want you to understand that Jesus Christ is soon to come. You believe me, say amen. And we got to be ready, amen. And the only way to be ready, praise God, is, is to live by this Bible. You believe me, say amen. Preacher, you ain't even took a text yet. The Bible is my text. Thank you, Lord. I don't feel like preaching, but... But I must, amen, praise the Lord. Let the church say preach on. Amen. From the cradle to the grave, God requires holiness. If you have your Bible, let's go to the word of God. First Peter chapter 1, verse 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. The Bible declares, amen, gird up the loins of your mind. Why? Because the enemies came in and he's coming in and dragging all of his mess with him. You believe say amen. They're trying to cast down the holy standard, but the devil is alive. God is still on the throne. You believe say amen. And honey, the only time God will prescribe us to do anything other than holiness if, if he come off the throne you believe say amen and because we still here we know he still reigns you believe say amen I just feel like preaching now nah, amen praise the Lord let me simmer down here a little bit amen are you there first Peter chapter 1 now you didn't have time to catch up now and you're going to have to stay with me because I got to hit it and quit it. You believe me? Say amen. But in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13, it says, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober. Be sober. Be sober. Be sober. That's no time for you to be, amen, praise God, swaying this way and that way. Oh, glory to God. We got so many men's coming now, coming out of, you know, I got this revelation. But the strange thing is, you got to send off 1999 to get it. Now, Jesus, when he anointed the seven, he sent them out two by two, and he said, heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely you receive, and freely you. Y'all going to read with me? Amen. Gird up the Lord is your mind. Hope and hope to be sober and be ho and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you through the at the revelation of Jesus Christ as obedient children. That's what? As obedient children, not fastening yourselves according to the form of lust in your ignorance. See, when we didn't know no better, we lived like we wanted to. But since we, we came over here, now they making light of the mothers and say, you know, it don't take all of that. The devil is a lie. Honey, in the world we living in, it's going to take that and more. You believe me? Say, man. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let me simmer down here a little bit. But listen what this book say. But as he which is called you is holy. So be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it's written, wow, well, in this Bible here, be ye holy, for I am, not I was, I am holy. And now I could go a little further, but time won't permit, praise God. But now the message still stands. Amen. Now, now I, I, I tell you, we in deep trouble. The church world is in trouble. We're in the danger of the devil deceiving us and telling us, you know, God ain't requiring what he did years ago. We are in the grace today. Therefore, you can act like you want to act, treat people like you want to treat people, look like the world, act like the world. Amen. I tell you what, you're going to hell with the world. You believe me, say amen. Woo, hallelujah. And that's one word that's been stricken for many pulpits preachers. We don't preach on hell and the people don't mind amen, going to hell because we don't put it on their mind. You believe me, say amen. And we're living in a time now they tell you, you know, just don't upset the people. Read your Bible. Every prophet, every preacher, every apostle calls sin, sin. You believe me, say amen. Thank you, Lord. Call sin, sin. You know how I got saved? The man cast that I went. I got saved in California in the Royal Family Church of God in Christ. And since I've been saved and preaching, praise God, I've had a, a, a number of influential people come to try to get me out of this church. Oh, but I got saved over here. God gave me my wife over here. You believe me, say man. Thank you, Lord. There's something about holiness you can't change. And that's what's going on today. We're trying to mix God, and God won't mix with the world. Jezebel 
Ahab in the choir. Ahab in the pulpit. Thank you, Lord. On television and radio, talking about we spreading the gospel. Ah, oh, but I want you to know the gospel will deliver. It'll set you free. You can be say man. And if we preach the gospel and call sin, sin, this is right and that's wrong. This is what God requires and that's what God hates. You can be say man. Now the enemy is dragging it. He's trying to get us to water this gospel down. So therefore, let the sisters come in and do what they want to do. Men marrying me in the Bible said in Romans chapter 1, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imagination. And he said, their food is hard darkened, professing themselves to be wise, they become fools. Honey, we in that time, we in that time now. Men don't want to know the truth. Well, bless his name. Let me live like I want to live. Listen, if you're not going to live holy, you better build your heaven because you ain't going to the one that Jesus prepared. You believe it's say, man. Woo! Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Lord. But as he would just call you is holy, so be ye holy. And all men of conversation, that conversation means lifestyle. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you got a wife and a concubine, praise God, you wrong and you ain't sin and you're on your way to hell. Amen. If you got a husband and you got a boyfriend, you're in sin and you're on your way to hell. You believe me? Say amen. Thank you, Lord. I just feel like preaching. But as he would just call you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Now, in a world of change, I thank God there's one constant. God never changes. Hebrews 13 and 8, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Malachi 3 and 6, behold, I am the Lord, not nobody else. And I change it not. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's why I love Mother Bryant. Out of all the people that know me, praise God, she loved me enough because she said, you know how I love her about you? You just don't play, amen, praise. And that's what it's all about. You got, I got people's souls in my hand. You believe this, amen. And I got to give an account of this, amen. And I found as a pastor that if you preach this thing without reservation, you can lay down and sleep at night and you won't have no hair raisers in your church. Why? Because when you put the word out there and demand, I just say, amen, praise God, uh, uh, compromise, you demand people to live right or put them out. God ain't hurt for no believers. You believe it's saying mine. And there's enough sinners on this world that need to be saved to him to be messing around with a bunch that came over here and making up in their mind. We're going to go back or, or we ain't going to get out the church. We're going to drag all of our mess in him. Therefore, our young people are not saved. I, we got some old heads that ain't saved. We come to church for the activity. We come to church to shout and dance. But honey, when you start preaching that word, the first thing the devil will do is put you to sleep. Listen, joining the church can't help you. Getting, getting the church in you is the only thing that's going to make you right with God. You be saved, man. Oh, and I heard him praise God. Those that are living holy in Ephesians 5 and 25, the church he coming back for is not a, he ain't coming back for a homonging church. He ain't coming back for a lying church. He ain't coming back for a compromising church. But Ephesians 5 and 25, he's, he styled the church as a, a husband and his wife. Help them love your wife even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for the church that he may sanctify it. And that's still a good word. And cleanse it by the washing of the water by the word. Woo, that he may present it to himself. I love my bishop, but bishop ain't going to present the church to, to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! I love preaching the gospel, but I ain't going to present the church to Jesus Christ. Honey, I'm going to be in there. And when they come soon and very soon, they're going to be saying a song. Here come the bride. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Hallelujah. I'm not looking for an antichrist. I'm looking for Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, according to Matthew 24, Luke 17, and Luke 21, that the time is right. And the time is right for Jesus Christ to come. Oh, glory to God. And he tell us to remember Lot's wife. Honey, she was caught up in this materialistic world. She was caught up, praise God. The reason why she could have been saved, God brought her out of Sodom. But her heart was back there. 
Some of you that came over and hold us, but your heart is back there. Don't you get quiet on me. I'm sorry for y'all love for Brother Michael. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. But as he would just call you, he is holy. You know what that means? When he appeared, you can't be trying to get it right. Honey, 1 Corinthians 15 to 51, behold, I show you a mystery. We ain't all going to sleep. Honey, I thank God for all them that have came before me and paved the way. But I praise God, honey, there's going to be a hold down in the old town tonight. When we get up yonder with Mother Brown, amen, praise God. All them saints that have died and went on, amen, and paved the way for us. The Bible declares, amen, that not all of us going to sleep, amen, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of a lie. And probably, I don't know about you, but I'm, I, I'm listening for a sound. And in 1 Corinthians 4, amen, pray, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, the Bible declares that the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. And I tell you what, praise God, he's not going to touch that foot on this world here. He's going to stop in mid out. And all of a sudden, amen, praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All of a sudden, praise God, all of the saints that got the Holy Ghost in them and living by the word, let me add that. See, some of us filled with the Holy Ghost, but we won't obey the Holy Ghost. And somebody lied to us and said the Holy Ghost won't get up and leave. The devil is a lie. Thank you, Lord. I want to go back with Jesus. We're going to have to be set free. Amen. 2 Corinthians 6, 14. Be not unequal to yoke with unbelievers. That not only your husband, your wife that you married that ain't saved, but all them folk we hanging out with. You be say, amen. Huh? What, what, amen. What, what, what communion has righteousness without unrighteousness? Huh? What court hall has light with darkness? What communion has light with darkness? Huh? No, no communion. What fellowship, amen? We ain't got no fellowship with the world. We don't act like them. We don't treat folks like they treat folks. Why? Because we're living to leave. You remember saying, man? And they telling us, don't worry. Get you another house. Get you another car. Stay here. Stay here. But the Bible say we get ready to leave. You remember saying, man? Oh, my God. I'm I, 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 I'm a quit. I'm a quit. But let me leave this with you. We're going to hear a word. We're going to hear a shout. And the voice, the voice of the archangel. And brother, I wish we had some trumpets here. But it dun, 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 dun. And only the saints are going to hear that shout. The world will never know Jesus Christ is going to step out of eternity. Down into the amen. Praise God. In the mid air, praise God. And that Holy Ghost that's in you. Amen. Romans chapter 8. The Bible says that same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead. Dwell in you. That same spirit is going to quicken your mortal body. Honey, you got to have some power to get up from hell. Amen. Praise God. You may be jumping, but you can't go in sin. You may be saying, man. Thank you, Lord. Woo, hallelujah.